guys, it's Melanie, your superstar director. This is a leadership team training Tuesday, and I'm actually not going live as I plan to. I'm going to do a very quick training for you guys. Um, this is better to do when you're showing people. So that is why I'm not going live. I'm just doing a quick training. But just recently, I did a training on how to email your customer base, which is super easy. Leaders that are wanting to recognize your teams, this is for you. This is a little bit more complicated than just the typical um, email contacts tab. So I'm going to share with you guys how I do it, how simple it is for me. Um, once you once you learn how simple it is, it's not difficult. So the first thing we're gonna talk about is why we recognize things, right? Recognition is key in leadership. We repeat actions that we want repeated. In order to grow our people, we have to feed into them. We have to give them the feeling and the sense of being appreciated because how many times have you been to a nine to five where you walk in, you do your job, you do a great job. Actually, you're the best person that has ever done your job and you just walk out with the feeling of nobody cared, nobody recognized me, nobody saw my work. And there's some of y'all that are saying, well, I don't thrive from recognition. No, not everybody does, but a lot of people, the power of recognition is the difference between an employee that's going to stay for 10 years and the employee that's going to stay for half that time. So knowing what we know, we need to be able to recognize our team and make sure that they know that we see them and that they're doing an amazing job, um, whether that is you text them, whether you shout them out on a team page or whatever. But some of you guys are looking for something a little bit more simplistic that you can do further and further down the line as you have more teamies or just to simplify your business a little bit and hopefully this will help you. So what I do first is I create my, um, my image. If you don't have to use an image, if you just want to send an email just to say, hey, you're active and above, I see you, great job, keep going. Um, a sweet and short motivational message, but I like to include a cute little image in there. I think they like the extra personalization for me. Um, so what I do is I use Canva or Over. Both have a free version. You do not have to pay for it unless you want to. I do love a, pay, a paid version of Canva. I think Canva is extremely useful and it is a tax write-off. So I will recommend that. Once I've created my image, I save my image, and then I use Google Drive for nearly everything. Google Drive is my um, holy grail because I can create emails for my customers. I can do Google Forms. I can do coaching forms. I can do folders that I can share with my team. So very valuable. So we're going to start there. We're going to go to my Google Drive. I'm going to show you guys exactly where to go from here if you want it from the ground up. Um, here is my Google Drive. I go right into the new tab here, hit that, and then hit Google Docs. Once you're here, you can create whatever email you want. You can draft it however you want. You can start typing from here, hi, I see you, great job. Or you can center everything like I do, play around with the fonts, bold fonts, um, do whatever you want. If you have a computer that allows you to drag and drop content like mine does over here, you can drag images over and drop them right in. Or if you don't, you can go to insert image and then upload from wherever your source is, okay? So once you've decided on your email, you've decided what you're going to send them, I like to try to include some tips now because I feel like that actually adds a little bit more meat to my emails and encourages them to keep shooting for more. Um, but once you figure out what you're gonna say, you can copy, copy all of that. And then I go into my reporting tab of Workstation. You're gonna click on my performance, okay? Once you click on my performance, and I'm actually going to take us off the screen share for just a moment so that I can go in here and block out some contact, email info and numbers, because we're not allowed to share that. Um, once you have done that, Go back to the screen share. Once you finish that, you're going to be brought to this screen here. You're going to have two options a leadership report and a downline report. Let me see if I can show y'all. There we go. I'm going to kind of minimize it a little bit. So you've got your leadership report and your downline report. The difference between leadership report and your downline is really not gonna be very significant unless you're a director and up. So your downline, if you're a director and up, is going to include every single person in your group, period, point blank. Um, if you are a superstar director like me, this is super important to know because this is going to email every single person um, regardless of who they are. Um, if you are 
just a star consultant, superstar, you know, it really doesn't matter at this point. You're going to email your team, um, but we'll talk about how you can separate emailing just your front line and so forth and so on. So let me pull this over a little bit. You guys can see my PRV over here. And what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to block out the info by doing this. Hopefully that will, let's see if that will let me a little bit more. I'm sorry guys, we're going to have to share a little bit, but not a whole lot. All right. So what I do here is I go to results per page and I select 250. 250 is going to give me the max amount of consultants that I can see on one page. Now, if my group is massive and I have like 75 people that are active and above, or not 75, 7,500 people, then I'm gonna have to repeat this process probably multiple times. But for the most part, if I'm shouting out people who are active and above, 500 and up, 1,000, usually they'll populate on 250 per page. Now, as my group grows, I might need to do this process two or three times. Let me know if that doesn't make sense. Um, so what do I do from here? Let's say I'm shouting out active and above today. I will click additional filter options, and then I will click here where it says the minimum PRB that I want to see. I would like to see a minimum of 200 PRB. Um, and then let's just say you're only looking to email your front line. Nobody but your front line. You've got people who've recruited under you. If you only want to see your front line, you just select level and one. Now, if you want to email everybody in your group, if you're a director, if you are a star director, or if you are a superstar director and you want to email everybody in your group, I don't, I don't touch this. Um, for me, because I'm emailing everybody in my group, I would go to downline report and do the same thing and not touch the level. All you do after that is select run report. I'm sorry if we got a peek, but here we are. Um, we're going to be brat brat hold up we're going to be brought back to the screen that we're here at now you can toggle with your results again but all you have to do is select the box here that looks like a little check box it's going to be above all the other numbers just select the very top one and it's going to select everybody's email or select every consultant and then all you have to do is click email and at this point I'm going to be emailing everybody who is 200 and PRV, 200 PRV and above. Um, I paste my email from Google Drive, and then that is it. Um, let's see, clear all the drawings. So that's it. The email is there. <clears throat> it's in here. As you guys can see, you can type directly from here if you wish to do that, but the problem is a lot of people have complaints about how the image pops up. It doesn't pop up in, um, on this platform the way it does as if it were copied, copied. Man, I'm really mixed up with my words today. Copied and pasted, but uh, I prefer doing it on a Google Drive first so I can see everything the way I want it, and then I'll paste it in here, and then I'll say like in here, 200 and up PRB. I see you, and then you just hit send. I'm gonna redo this for today because clearly I shared it in the wrong spot. I did my leadership report, not my group report, or my downline report. So this is just to show you guys an idea of how you can do it. You can do shout outs for anything from 200 PRB, 500 PRB, 1,000, um, top 50 PRB in the month just by showing the results per page and double clicking PRB. If, you, if you're a leader and you don't know how to do that, just go to your reports, pull up your leadership report, and then double click the word PRB. The top PRB will be at the very top of the page and it'll go down. And if you hit results per page 50, you're gonna be able to see your top 50 PRBers all on one page and you can email them that. Um, so it's very, very, very simple after this. If y'all have any questions whatsoever on the process, please let me know. I am more than happy to help you. If you need me to walk you through it, I'm more than happy to show you. So just let me know and I hope that you guys found it helpful. Bye.